subscribers welcome back to my So after that now, the next thing you do is you create surface. So for you to create surface, you come to this place here, you click on surface and you right click on it, create surface. Then you can just give your surface any name of your choice. I'll name it surface now, then I'll click OK. Then after creating surface, I will click on the plus sign and then click on this plus sign as well. Come to the nation plus sign. Then I'll come to coin group. I will right click and click on add. Then I'll click on start. I'll click apply and then I'll click OK. Now the surface has been created. So now the next thing for us to do is you come to you click on point and then you come to create points interpolate then you click on interpolate so you come to this place here this one that says put on bridge you click on it then you come to this point creations you click on this point creation now now before that point creations for us to be able to identify the total number of points that we import into our autocad you can confirm that through your you can confirm that by coming to this place here point identity you click on it so we have 62 points on our autocad that was imported we have 62 points imported so it you can see now on the screen first point number is uh, 63 that is we have uh, 62 points that was imported to the next number by the next to be 63. So we kindly note that data we bring that back. So under your point creation tools, if you actually want your what I want you want it to be manually but you don't want it to be to be feed up on the whole area, what you do is 
this format here that you have your under your prompt for description is going to be manual then you click on this icon that says spot on grid you click on it then it's asking you to prefer a grid based page so you prefer a grid page on it then the rotation is every you press enter and then the grid space for the, the, grid, the grid interval Alright, so I want it to be, I'll be using 10 interval, so I'll press enter for the next. Why for the IY as well, I'll also use 10 interval, I'll press enter. Now it's asking for the right corner of the uh, grid. To prefer the right corner of the grid, so I'll, click, I'll come to this place and I'll select this. Now then you click on no. So now you can see on the screen now, enter a point description. So what I'll just do is where I'll click on this place and then I'll click enter. So you can click, you can see now, you can see the next point which I told you earlier on, the next point which is going to be point 63, this is it. So if you want it to continue giving it a, a spot and if you want it to continue to fill, you want to fill up this place, you want it to generate spot height for you, so you just press enter. You continue pressing enter, 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 you can see, enter on interval of 10 meters for x and y, enter, 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 enter. You can see still it occupies the whole place depending on how you want it to cover the area of your boundary so that is how to, to uh, generate spot height manually you don't want it to occupy the whole area but let's assume that you want it to occupy the whole area you want the spot height to fill up the whole area so what you actually do is uh, you come to this under this prompt for description you change this to automatic then after you change it to automatic you click on this icon that says Spot on grid, so you can see it's asking you to specify the grid base point. So you will do that. The rotation is zero, 10 meter interval. Then you specify the right corner. Then you click on it. You can see now it has covered the whole area of the boundary. That is for automatic generation of spot height but for the manual is the one I did earlier on so now this spot height that we generated on the boundary of our work now if you want to export it let's check the total number that we have so to check the total number of the spot height that you have what you do is you come to this point and let it see you click on it you have total number of uh, two 134 points. So now th that is the total number of points that we have. Then you can close this create points page. So after you close this create points page, now I want to export this generated data. I want to export it. So in order for you to export it, so you can just select one of the generated spot heights. So after you select it. You click on export point. So after I click on export point, so you, you have different formats. We have eastern nothing command delimited. We have eastern nothing space delimited. We have nothing eastern command delimited. So I'll be using eastern nothing command delimited. Then I'll click on OK. So I want it to be on CSV, but I don't want it to be on CSV. I can change it from there. I want it to be on a. Uh, if I want it to be on a uh, notepad, I will just change this to TST. Not TST, but I want it to be on CSV, so I will just put it on CSV. Then I'll select the location where I want it to be saved. So I'll see, select my desktop document. Then I'll come to this place and right click. Then I'll click on here. Yes. Then I'll change this to Microsoft Excel worksheet. So now. Then I'll come to right click and then I'll come to this place, I'll right click and then I'll click on new folder 
want you to be on the new folder and you can just name it export. Then I'll click open. I'll click open. I'll click open. Then I'll click OK. So now it has exported the uh, data. So let's check that. Under our export. So this is the data that I just export now. The total number of the data is uh let's confirm that the total number of the data is uh, we have is uh, that is 234. We have 234 data, so let's check if it's up to 234. You can see now the, okay the total number of the data that we have is 233. So we have 233 total number and then you know that the other time the number that we imported into AutoCAD was uh, it was just 62, we stop at 62. So the new generated spot type data is from 63 to 234, 233. So what we just do is you control you copy it. Control C. So you can just do it to open a new page for your exam. Then you paste it there. So now this are the X, Y, Z values. So this X now you can put it at the other hand. Control X. Control C. This is the this thing control X you can put it here control V this is not and then you can bring this one back control V so now we already we, we now have it on this thing nothing height so that is how to export data on AutoCAD using your CSV but if you want it to be on notepad data you want it to be notepad so what you just do is just like the way you do it for the exam, you select it, then you click on the spot point, then you, you can give it any format that you want. Uh, this thing I think I then you click, you select your location file. Or you can click, come here and click OK. So it's going to bring it back to the previous page. So you can just change this to CST and then you give this a new file name so that you'll be able to differentiate it. Note, let me save it as note. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll click OK. Now let's confirm that. You can see now this is it. This is the note part. This are now. So is that a note part? So that is how to export data from our spot sites. Thank you.